I've got a good feeling about this one. A love heart! It's so cute! Let's see who spins the wheel. I'm great at thumb wars. Yes! I won! Oh, so close. Please don't be bad. No paper. But how am I supposed to draw? Guess you'll need to figure that out. Watch this. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle. And another one. Then some lines at the top and bottom. And now for the sides of the heart. The pencil makes great guidelines for when we start to use ink. Once the basic shape is done, use an eraser to remove the guidelines around the edges. Then grab a pen and just follow the lines. It creates a great 3D effect. Now to add the color, remember to stay inside the lines. Once that's done, add shadowing to the inside edges. A regular pencil is fine for this. Just add to anywhere you think there would be a shadow, or where you think the light would be different. It's a different way of drawing a love heart, but it looks so impressive. That's it! What do you think? Wow! I mean, it's okay. What can I use? I know! My hands! It's pretty basic. There must be something I can do. Got it! A tiny heart! Huh? How about this? It's a heart! No, it isn't. Sorry. Okay, now what do you think? Ugh, just give up! I know I can do this! Come on, fingers, don't let me down! I think I figured it out! I just need a red pen. Place one finger on top of the other, then draw a love heart. Then simply use a red pen to fill it in. It's not too bad. I like it. Or should I say, I love it. But I'm not finished. Let's add a smiley face. And you need another one for true love. How romantic! Look! Seriously? Aw, that's so cute! Hold on! I have an idea too! Don't ruin it! It'll be great! There! They're hugging! I think I'm gonna cry! It's so sweet! Painting, you might be my most favorite one of all time! Grandpa! Watch out! Don't knock over another one of my paintings! Seriously, that could have been a disaster. What if he had actually brushed against it? Oops! Look at that! I got paint all over my suit jacket! Oops! My painting! No! Oh, what a nightmare. I couldn't stand it if that had happened. Oh, I think I've got another great idea. Excuse me, Gramps. I'm gonna need this. Okay, I've got the hairspray. Now to put it to work. I'll just add a layer to my painting. It's gotta be enough to actually coat it all, though. There! Now that it's dry, it's completely protected. Look! No paint came off at all! <sighs> it's finally safe from grandpa mishaps. Oh! Hey, you're right! It worked! There's nothing on my jacket! Phew. Good thing I thought ahead. My painting is safe and sound. Okay, time for the next challenge. Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little. I need to hang out with new people. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop. You're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel. This is so awesome! No hands? No problem. Here goes. I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad. Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. 
What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing. There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. <sighs> She's so pretty. Time to see if I can impress her with my talent. I'll start with this blue. But I'll also need other colors, too. Definitely gotta fill this heart with pink, of course. There! She's gotta get the message with this painting. I wonder if she'll like it. You made that for me? Oh, get it out of here! Ouch! Nope. I don't want that reaction. Yeah, this is garbage. Wait, what? Oh no! I've got paint all over my hands! This day is not going like I thought it would. Better wash the paint off before I make a mess. Definitely gonna need some soap for this. Wait a second. Wow! Look at this! The suds are colored with the paint! Time to redeem myself! I've got my bowl of water and my dish soap. And of course, I have to add some paint, too. Time to mix this together with a popsicle stick. There we go. It's getting a little sudsy. But I need more bubbles. Time to add some air with a straw. Wow! Look at all of these bubbles! They just keep coming! All right, so long, straw. Now to add the paper onto the bubbles. Just like that. Wow! The bubbles appeared on the paper! Hi! I made you this card. You made this for me? Wow! I love it! It's so beautiful! Oh my gosh! Wanna walk me to class? It totally worked! Well, get some new art! Yikes! No thank you. No! Another rejection! Ah! Stranger! Help! Attack! Calm down. What's up? No one wants to buy my artwork. Grandpa, what are you even doing in that trash can? What do you plan to do with that garbage? You still don't trust me? Well, okay then. You'll have to watch. I'm gonna set this lid down on paper. And now to start spray painting the paper. I just want to coat the whole thing. Don't be afraid to cover the lid. And now to add some white paint down here in the corner. Want to just fill this whole space. And then it's plastic bag time. I'll dab the white with this bag. It'll pull the paint up a bit. There we go. And now I'll speckle it with some more white paint. Time to take the lid off. There we go. It's done. Ta-da! Wow, Grandpa! It's incredibly beautiful! I can't believe how easy it was for you to make this! Here, you can have this. I want that painting! Take all my money! I'll have to give my ice cream back. Not the rocky road. Yeah! Time to do painting! I'm an artist! I'm the best at art! Painting is fun! Oh no! I got paint on her computer! I know! I'll just clean it off! Wait! It's just smearing! Oh no! It's making an even bigger mess! It all just turned pink! She's gonna be so mad at me! Huh? She's awake! Uh, what are you doing? Why are you staring at me? Huh. You're acting weird. Really suspicious. Wait a second! Ah, my laptop! What happened to it?! You painted it pink! Huh? What's this over here? A straw? Wait. I can
can totally salvage this travesty! Okay, here's my poor messed up laptop. I need more paint. That's right, more, not less paint is the solution. White and yellow too. And some purple. So pretty. And maybe just a bit of this brownish yellow. Okay, now I'm ready for the straw. I'll start blowing this paint now. I'll use the air to push the paint around the laptop. Gotta keep going. I like the different colors for sure. And the patterns and textures it makes are cool! Wow! It turned into a legit piece of artwork! It's beautiful! Makes me think of waves in the ocean! I can't believe how well it turned out! Wow! Look at her computer! So cool! Hey, the next round! Wait, cover your eyes! Ooh, mysterious! Hehe, <laughs> I'm gonna surprise Ashley! Ugh, that's pretty gross. Ooh, and it smells awful! What's that smell? Sorry. Wait, Justin! I know what we can do! Check this out! I'll start by drawing a tree. Then some apples. Let's add some green leaves. I better stay in the lines. It's looking good! I'll add some dark green for the leaves. It just gives it texture. And of course, the trunk has to be brown. Using vertical pen strokes makes it look like wood. Then we'll color the apples red. They look so juicy! Ta-da! It's an apple tree! It's good, but it's not a real apple. <gasps> Justin, look! Whoa! That's so cool! Mmm, that's so tasty! Try one! I think I will! Think you could draw pizza? Hey, I think this piece is finished. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think this might be a masterpiece. I'll just set it over here on the easel. Wow, I love it! Oh, bubbles! I think I deserve a bit of a reward! Yes! Look how many there are! I love bubbles! Hey! I'm back. Oops! I knocked that painting off. Oh. It was my masterpiece! The best I've ever done! Wait a second, bubbles? This gives me a great idea. I've got a plastic bottle. I'm gonna cut off the top. And now I'll stretch a little net over the opening. Next up, I'll pour soap into this glass tray. That should be enough. Now to dip the net end into the soap. Now the soap has stuck to the nut. Time to add some paint to it. I'll drip some blue. Some red, too. And then yellow, of course. Primary colors. Check. And now it's time to start blowing some bubbles. I'll just make sure I'm close to the canvas. And now I'll pop some of these bigger ones. There we go. I think the work is done. Hey, what do you think about this? Whoa! How did you do that? I just took inspiration from your bubbles. I made it for you. Thank you so much, grandpa. I love it. Bubbles are truly great. Take that! Wait, what's that? Oh. It looks so cuddly. There's a tiny draft too. This one's mine. Aww. Okay, I guess this little guy's mine. Heh, <laughs> my draft is much better. Okay, don't move. I need to draw you. So far, so good. What are you doing? I'm examining the draft. Oh, good idea. Hmm. I wonder how Justin's doing. Pretty realistic, isn't it? I'm gonna call him Jerry. It doesn't look like a draft. This is gonna be tricky. It's all about getting the right scale. Hang on! I have an idea! I'll place my hand like this and then draw around it. I'll add a face. And now it's a giraffe! Let's color it in! This brown is the perfect color. And I can color the rest yellow. Careful! I don't want to make any mistakes now. Now for the neck. That's it! I'm glad I thought of that. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. You can have this! 
Thank you! Hey! What do you think of my new jacket? I totally got it on sale! It was 50% off! Isn't it just the best? Yeah, it's nice. I get it. But check out my new jacket! What do you think about my new phone case? Sparkles are so last year. I've got poppets. Whatever. I have this notebook, too. I decorated it with stickers. Hearts and stars and one little ice cream treat, too. What? Ugh! My notebook is so boring and plain. This isn't gonna work at all. There's gotta be something I can do. Hmm? I've got these markers. Wait! I think I've got a plan! I've got markers on this knife. I'll cut off the tip. And then I'll make a few more cuts so it'll look like a heart. Aw, look how cute it turned out! And now to bring out my notebook. I'll use it like a stamp. I don't have to stop at hearts either. There we go! I've got hearts and stars now, too! See? My notebook has that, too. And I didn't need stickers. Whoa! I can't believe you made that! Ready for this one? Pink means… An eagle! Not done yet! What? Is this supposed to mean something? Is it a secret code? Let me see something here. Hmm. This is a real thinker. I wonder what I should eat for lunch. Ooh, she sure knows what she's doing. <gasps> My hand! That's it! The dots just anchor the eagle! Now I just have to color it in! It's better if I speed it up. Looking good! And that's all, folks! Done? Ooh, just in time! Check it out! <gasps> I'm very impressed! Aw, shucks. <laughs> I did mine freestyle! Plus, it's sparkly! <laughs> Do you love it? It's like a mermaid bird! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I spin the wheel? No, it's my turn. Aw. Go on. Settle it with a thumb more? Let's go. This could take a while. Stop! Why don't we both spin it? Good idea! Oh! Sup? This is gonna be epic! Wait, where are we? Maybe we should go. Wow! My first tattoo! Whoa! You're eager! Let's do this! Are you crazy? This is gonna look sick! <laughs> it tickles! Wow! Look at that! That's some of my best work. Uh, th that's different. I love it! Keep that away from me! Mommy, save me! Your turn, bro. No way! I'll just use this printout instead. I'll cut the butterfly out of the paper. Then I'll put it face down on my wrist. I need some aftershave to wet it. Now I'll press it against my skin. A pain-free tattoo. It suits me, wow! Ah, uh, no. I feel so pretty! Time for another spin! Look at them go! Orange? It's a surprise round! I don't get it. Pick me! I know! Uh, a fishing pole! Nope. Oh, wait! I got it! Yes, Brian? A car, right? No, not a car. It's a unicorn! Uh, oh. <gasps> I can draw one of those! I only have a million of them! They're my favorite! See? <laughs> this girl's officially lost it. Cool, right? <laughs> okay, then. Start the clock! Unicorns can't be that hard. It's all about a bunch of bright colors. And markers on plastic don't really dry. 
so when you color them close together and add a little bit of water, they all kind of melt into each other. Push another piece of paper on top, and it makes a cool tie-dye effect! And whatever you draw on top is sure to look super magical! And you can just color it black! See how it pops against all the different colors? Neat, huh? Is time up already? Mine's done and perfect! You can say that again! I love that! What about your drawing? You have nothing, Madison? Mm, meh. Like I need more of these things. Nope. I don't need one. Okay. Suit yourself. Hmm. I hate seeing her sad. Here. Want my drawing? You can never have too many unicorns! Oh, so sweet! I'm excited to be here. I wonder what we'll have to do. Mmm, I didn't know the tea in this place would be so delicious. Look at that over there! Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful they all are. So much color. I've never seen anything like it before. Indeed. Look at how they move in the wind. So beautiful. I absolutely love them and their beauty. Hmm. This tea is gone off, I think. Hmm? Gonna be sick. Oh, man! We are being so complimentary of them! Oh my goodness, isn't that unfortunate? Why are you laughing at me? You got pooped on too! Huh? What are you talking about? Oh my… Uh, see, I drank out of this cup. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is actually quite funny. Why are you laughing? There were two poops! Wait a second. <laughs> that gives me a good idea. Oh, uh, this white canvas will not work. There we go. This is much better, I think. Okay, I need some chalk. And then I'll draw the number two. Since that was my inspiration. And then I'll need to draw a second two. <laughs> two twos. Then I'll build up from there. Have to make some waves around here. And a straight stick. Gotta put some feathers over here. This will be the wing. Can't forget to draw a cute little eye. And of course, it can't be a bird without a beak. Time for a fun little chalk trick. Blending. Ew, this is so gross. Why did this happen to me? And I'm done with my picture. Ahem. Take a look at my artwork. I believe I did an excellent job capturing the parents. Oh my goodness, I love it. Huh? No! You've gotta be kidding me! It's my turn to spin the wheel. Wait, what? Okay, fine. Make sure you do it right. A dog! This shouldn't be too hard. Am I supposed to be intimidated? I've got this. Okay, a dog. Where do I start? It helps I'm an animal lover. I'll start by drawing a circle. What now? Hmm. What next? What's she doing? How's that a dog? I know! I'll draw some small circles. That should be enough. Now I'll draw some semicircles. I'll add a nose and some eyes. I'll draw some of the details. And it needs a tail! There! A cute little doggy! It's possum! <laughs> Get it? How did you do that? That's pretty smart. How's your drawing? Well, uh, art is subjective, remember. If you squint, it sort of looks like a dog. Ooh, that's rough. Let's see who won! Wow! Would you look at that! I'm so happy! Do I win a dog? I'd love a fluffy dog! Ahem. What is it? That's it? It's cute, but I'd prefer a real one. I'll take it. You can have it. The garden is just lovely today. Oh, an apple right from the source. Look at all of these lovely fruits just waiting to be gathered. Hey, do you see what I see? She's so cute! 
out! It smells so delicious and sweet. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Look at this beautiful arrangement. My goodness, these blooms frame a mirror. Oh wow, look at that. She really loves those flowers. I can't believe it. I'll have to take another look. This can't be me. Can it? Have I grown younger? I was so beautiful back then. Is it a magic mirror, do you think? I don't know. Oh, I just feel completely inspired now. Where's she going? Eh, doesn't matter. I better check my mirror. Hmm, where do I want to start? Oh, are you gonna paint me? Okay, hold on one second. I can do something better, I promise. Oh, yes, that's what I want to do. A stroke here, and over here too. Yes! Yes, paint me like one of your French girls, or something. What a wonderful day I'm having. <laughs> yes, you're being the perfect muse, Grandma. Maybe if I try to plump up my skin a bit. <laughs> oh, what is it? What do you want? You're done? Okay. Here you go, Grandma. This is the portrait I did of you. What? Did you not see my reflection in the mirror? Wait a second. You, go away. I need the space. Shoot. Okay, Grandma, stay right there. Hmm, I need to take some measurements here. What? What are you doing? Got it. Now I just need to place my fists on the canvas. Now I just need to trace my knuckles here. Great. Now I just need to add on to the shape. This little throw can trail down like this. I'll continue the pattern over here, too. I'll add the little bow, too. More little hair swirls down here. Time for the eyes. Two of them, of course. All right, next will be the eyebrows. And I'll start on the nose. I'll add some hearts, too. And now it's time for some color. I'll start with yellow. She's gonna be a pretty blonde, just like that mirror reflection. And I think I'll give her blue eyes to go with that blonde hair. The bow can be red. That'll be pretty. I think her lips can match the bow, too. I'll give her some rosy, youthful cheeks. Can't forget about filling in the hearts. Uh-huh. Done. Hey, Grandma! I'm done with your portrait. Okay, listen to me. Take this portrait over to the grandma and show her. This is what she thinks she looks like. Exchange it for the mirror. All right, so take it over there. Go on, head over. Hello, Grandma. Here's another portrait of you. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Well, you can have it if I can have your mirror. Give up my mirror? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I don't know if it's working. I need that mirror. <sighs> okay, fine. I will make that exchange. Hey, I kept the mirror just like you asked. Yes, thank you so much. <gasps> oh. Ah, what the heck? Is this what I look like? Do I really have such a piggy looking nose? Ah! I need something that'll turn some heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win. But it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of paint left. Which leaves room for me to play. Thank you. Ugh, I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Ex excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David. Whoa! Again! Fun, right? You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Ah, blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful! And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own! It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life, along with the outline of the wings. Other side! There! Just admire this pure beauty! And that's just the beginning, son!